Welcome back to the channel. Today let's take a closer look at the Colt. Model 1862 Metropolitan Police Revolver. This revolver was primarily intended for police and security personnel and followed the lines of other Colt handguns being produced during the same time period in history. This one is of course a reproduction made by Uberti. Essentially it looks very much like a Colt 1860 Army, except that it's quite a bit smaller and perhaps a bit more concealable. A notable feature of this revolver is the half-fluted cylinder containing five 36 caliber chambers. Placing this revolver next to a 44 caliber Army model allows you to get a better idea of its actual size. It's really not hard to see why it became such a popular self-defense revolver with civilians. Barrel lengths offered were 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, and 6.5 and and inches. This one is a 5.5 inch example. Just like an original, this revolver came with a color cased hardened steel frame and loading lever, brass back strap and trigger guard. The hammer also acts as a rear sight, was situated within easy reach of the thumb. The walnut grips curve downwards and are flared at the end of the back strap. A small front sight allowed for some decently accurate aiming at short to medium ranges. From 1862 until 1873, some 28,000 of these revolvers were produced at Colt's Patent Firearms Company in Hartford, Connecticut. Later, many were converted to fire metallic cartridges, which means for collectors, finding an original and unmodified condition is going to command a premium price. In spite of its smaller size, this five-shot revolver packs a respectable punch, even by today's standards. a 25 grain charge of triple FG powder and a .375 inch diameter ball turns out to be a pretty accurate load at moderate ranges. Number 10 percussion caps seem to work best on this revolver as they do with most Italian made reproductions. When it comes to black powder firearms in general something you might want to keep in mind is that black powder and black powder substitutes are corrosive and can damage a handgun or rifle if left uncleaned after shooting. General rule of thumb is to clean it the same day you fire it. Next day at the latest. If you consistently follow up with a routine cleaning, your black powder firearm will last you a lifetime. Well that pretty much winds up what I'd plan to say about this revolver today. If you enjoy topics like this, I have several videos uploaded featuring black powder firearms. If you've a mind to, you can feel free to check out those videos as well. Until next time, practice often, shoot straight, and thanks for stopping by.